What's up? I'm Empathetic Chicken. Just wanted to bring a quick little message for, um, I guess, the Virgo full moon. That is technically in the morning, but like, I'm going to celebrate the night because it's going to be like 3 a.m. when it actually is full. So, my child, but I ain't staying up that late. Like, I, I got to do things. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to just see what we need to be aware of at this time. For the, um, ooh, full moon. I'll try to keep it short again. I, I, I like the little short ones. Queen of Swords with strength at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm picking this up as like. I guess like mental mastery. I mean, I know this ain't like the king or nothing, but like the queen is pretty like efficient. You know, she 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 got her own little talents. <laughs> she got her little sword of truth. Like she is um very just. <laughs> Yeah, even with um strength on the bottom. Let me get the strength card. I'm feeling like these the little lion it could represent like maybe our thoughts and like us she 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 needs to step in to tame the little thoughts. Like bring the little I mean you got to be firm, but you can be gentle at the same time. Tame the little beast within. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to get a um, clarifier thing from the inner guy at Oracle. <clears throat> What's the deal with this Queen of Swords? And strength. She trying to like shut the lion's mouth like shut up <laughs> not mean but like you know how sometimes you have like them thoughts that just like ugh, they just keep eating away at you like and, and you just sometimes you just gotta let them go and like be like you know put your foot down and be like hey hey this ain't gonna fly <laughs> i don't need you coming in here messing with my freaking harmony okay so yeah, it's like a like a firm, like but but gentle at the same that tough love I guess will be the thing. Like having that with ourselves, I'm feeling. I mean, it could be with other people too. Like anybody who's kind of like coming at you like all fierce, you just gotta, you know, don't be like, don't be like hardened or nothing to to people or yourself, and don't don't be um like cutthroat. But have like boundaries is what I'm getting. Alright. Back to what I was trying to do. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess this is what I'm doing. So I don't know why I'm complaining. So this is what I'm trying to do. Bring messages and I'm bringing them. And then I'm still having a problem with it. So thoughts get out of my head. <laughs> kind of like that. Right? Shut up. Self-doubt. Mirage, master, notions, illusions, deceptions, change. Man, we got these same freaking cards that last reading I did. What going on? Or not the last one, but like the one before a couple of the ones I've done. Mirage. So yeah, we might be like believing some things, having some thoughts that aren't like exactly true. So we got to be like discerning with like letting them, you know, letting them occupy like our mind space. Like, this is, this is, this is the, the mind <laughs> is a sacred place, and you don't need all these illusions like clouding your judgment, throwing you off, like throwing you off your balance.
Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm getting to, like, I just keep looking at this. Like, all of the thoughts are there for, like, a reason, I guess. Like, to process and to, like, like, you can examine them and see, like, where these illusions come from. And, like, what, I guess, like, believe, like, what do you get out of believing whatever, like, thoughts that you're having? Like, what is, what is the, um the payoff I mean are you just like deceiving yourself with them you know what you trying to do thoughts <laughs> mm -hmm. I just thought I need something else I need something else what we um what we need to do like I mean I, I get the queen of swords like the whole you know being stern and all that, but like, what 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 can we do with these thoughts, these these deceptive um whatever's going on, deceptive energies? What advice do you have? <laughs> mm, excuse me. Alright, dude. Yeah, I guess just don't um. You might want to see the card, huh? All is well. <clears throat> oh. Peace, calm after storm, clarity, healing. So, yeah. I guess, like, the solution to the, the mirage, like, the illusions, is, like, to realize that they are illusions. And that is, is like, you know. Oh, sorry, I'm eyeballed it. I, I just have to. Okay. <laughs> As, like, convincing as they are, like, the truth is, they're just, like, fears, you know? You got to calm the little beast within. Like, simmer down. Simmer down, little beast. It's okay. Like, I know y'all in there for a reason. Like, fear is there to, like, protect us and all that. It's, 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 it knows, like, the familiar, like, familiar stuff, like, that feels safe. So, like, we might be... Coming up against some new energies and stuff, like new situations, and we're we're being asked to to show up different, I guess. So I mean, it, it makes sense that we would have like these old fears, like tricking us into feeling like, you know, things are worse than they actually are. But like the truth is, all is well. And I ain't talking about like everybody, because I know that, like there's some conflict going on in the world. <laughs> like I'm not like oblivious to that, but like. I guess on like a more like personal level, like if you're like watching this, I mean, I would think that, you know, you're kind of in an okay place. Like, I mean, probably not mentally all the time because, I mean, we got these deceptive, you know, energies and stuff. I don't know. I just want to, I don't know, I just feel like I want to, like, say more about how, like, I feel like it is easy to, like, get caught up in, like, the deception of the world, like, because there's all these, like, channels of, like, information coming at us, like, with, like, social media, the news, and all that. And it's kind of like you don't know where, like, whose lens you're looking at it through. So, like, it really, it's all just, like, it's all illusion. Because it's, like, filtered through someone else's vision. So, there's no real, like, truth being presented, like, <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'm making sense. I mean, there are truths, but, like, no one else can really know our own, like, your own truth, like, because, I mean, everyone else is, like, a separate, or not, like, separate entity, but, like, we're connected, but we all have our own little limitations and, like, our perceptions, you know what I'm saying? So, like, what you see might not be what someone else sees, like, what is presented to us might not be, like, how the thing went down, like, you never know. I mean, in the day, everybody got opinions, so, like, how you know which one is the truth? 
So I just feel like the solution to that is to like be more like accountable to how you show up and like what you decide to um, believe or whatever. Cause I'm I'm kind of like a small small person like big change like what am I saying <laughs> I think like on an individual level like if a, if a lot more people did the work on themselves then it would like create a bigger change you know for the whole because I mean we are like the whole but we kind of like in little seg segments or whatever <laughs> so yeah if more people were like at peace then maybe there wouldn't be so much turmoil in the world and like freaking wars and stuff. We was all willing to like face our little demons and like tame the little beasts inside the hate, you know, the hatred and the, all that. And get rid of the illusions. Like, we don't, we don't need all this chaos now. So, yeah. I feel like we could just get to a place of peace like on, like on our own like with ourselves then that would kind of like ripple out into all of like all, all the places that we exist in you know like it, it, it just it's, it matters <laughs> like your state of being matters and it's gonna influence like how you show up matters you know what I mean so yeah I'm feeling just be um, discerning of what you choose to believe, what like fuels you, like fuels your actions and everything. Like just show up in a way that you could be proud of, you know. Like, you don't want no regrets. Like, I mean, this lady is just like, I guess she kind of like petting this little tiger thing. Oh, it's not a tiger, <laughs> it's a lion. But she's like, you know, gracefully like taming the little beast. So maybe just be a little gentle with yourself and other people right now. Because, I mean, we all working through our own little illusions. Trying to, trying to find our truth, see our truth, you know. And I'm going to get little animal message to close this out. I don't went a little over what I wanted to, but it's all good. I had to say some things. I felt like I was a little superficial in my reading. I wanted to go like a little deeper. I don't know. Maybe I said enough. I just I always think I should say something better or like more. But I ain't saying nothing important. So just one of my little mirages that I'm working through. <laughs> What little spirit animal message wants to come through today? <laughs> mm, excuse me. Little bird wanted to come through. Owl spirit. Uh oh. You see clearly now. So that's a good sign. Especially paired with like the Queen of Swords, like the truth. Like she knows the truth. She sees it. Her little sword is like straight edge, like <laughs> I don't even know what it has to do with it, but it's like the straightness of it, it just draws my eye in and I'm like, yeah. It ain't tilted. It might be a little bit. No, it ain't that tilted. Like if it's tilted, it's just cause I already drew it a little crooked. <laughs> but nah, it's like, yeah. This is it. Cutting edge, man. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let me um <clears throat> Excuse me. Read the um, book. See what we got here. Number four to three. You see clearly now. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, our spirit arrives to remind you that the wisdom within you is informed by your keen senses and the wisdom within the consciousness we all share. Even in the darkest night, the owl sees clearly and is guided by every sense it has, including the first sense of intuition. Right now, your sensitiv sen ooh, sensitivities are turbocharged and you are receiving messages 
from all directions. Owl spirit reminds you to be wise and pay attention to what's between the lines, what is invisible to the naked eye, what cannot be heard with the ears, and what others may not be able to perceive. With all your senses aroused, you have much knowledge available to you. Clarity will come as you sit with all that you are sensing, allowing your intuition to guide you in understanding the whole and not just the parts. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, kind of. This says it more like eloquently, but you know, we do our best. Uh, let your wisdom arise and be your guide as you trust the acuity of all your senses. I don't know that word. Intuition is real and can provide the clarity you need to understand your situation right now. Your relationship, your finances, your job, whatever it is, you can see the truth clearly now. Uh, protection message. Are you feeling overwhelmed and overpowered by all that you are sensing? Are you highly sensitive right now and in information overload? Feeling too much and talking in too much... Oh, taking in too much stimulation. The antidote... To, to, oh, the antidote for overwhelm is what I need right now. The antidote for overwhelm is to become grounded and return to your safeness so wisdom can offer you Clarity and guide you on managing the flow. Take a break to ground yourself in the reality of your everyday senses. Go for a walk in nature. Perhaps you can stop to lie on the ground or hug a tree or just stroll down the street beneath the soothing sky so that you can regroup and clear your energy field. Your wisdom and ability to make sense of all you're feeling and experiencing will return as our spirit reminds you of your need to get clear. Alright then. So, yeah, it's definitely all about, like, seeing through the illusion and, like, knowing the truth. Tapping into a little intuition. Like, what is it saying? Because, I mean, sometimes you can't trust the mind. Like, the mind will screw you over. Like, especially if you have a mind like mine. Like, I mean, I'm not trying to diss my mind, but, like, oh, the, 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 the mirages that go on in this thing <laughs> get on my nerves. But yeah, I, I, I've got to be a little gentle, gentle soul to it, because otherwise, mm, I'm going to go there, otherwise, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I think that's it. I'm going to just call it there. Hopefully got something out of this. Um, I'll be back in... Happy full moon in Virgo, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>